everyone, welcome to Business After Hours where I answer all your questions in detail. And today I got a question on Instagram and it reads like this. RP, how do I come up with content ideas? I think this is one area that I struggle with the most. So today's video, we are going to talk about how to come up with content ideas because there are so many ways that you can come up with content ideas. Also, I have a checklist on my website. Just head on to rpsylvester.com forward slash gift and you would find all the resources in there. But one of the resources is coming up with content ideas and it's called content ideas checklist. So it is basically a template and all you have to do is just plug and play and you are sorted. The number one way I come up with content ideas is to go back to my analytics. And this can be my Facebook analytics, uh, Instagram analytics, YouTube analytics, especially YouTube and also Pinterest. So for example, if it's Facebook, what I do is go to my Facebook insights and see which post did well. The same goes with Instagram. Go to your Instagram analytics and see which post did well. Did anybody ask any questions in those posts? It would just show that a person or a set group of people really resonated with that particular post. Also on Instagram, you can see if someone saved a post at the same time. You can see, I think for the first 24 hours or 48 hours, I'm not sure. You can see who reposted your Instagram post on their stories or just share it in their stories. So just go back to your analytics when it comes to Pinterest, which pins are doing well? Is that pin doing well because of the headline? Is it doing well because of the pin design? And you would see a pattern in your content. The next way is to just ask your audiences. I do this all the time. I just go on Instagram stories and just ask you guys, guys, what is something that you want to learn this week? And I get a few questions in there. I get a few spams as well, but that's another story. But uh, uh, your audience would happily ask you if they have any questions, if they're stuck in any area, but that comes with a silver lining. And uh, unless you put yourself out there every single day, especially with Instagram, and just build that no like and trust factor with your audiences, they wouldn't trust you enough to solve their problems. So just make sure that you put yourself out there, get on Instagram stories every single day if possible. Uh, if not showing your face, show something, show your work desk, show behind the scenes, do a time lapse, anything that connects with your audiences and then do the ask. And the next way to come up with content ideas is to learn from your peers, industry peers, your competitors. One way I come up with content ideas is I am part of a lot of Facebook groups and once in a while I'm in this phase of batch creating content I just go on these Facebook groups and see what questions people are asking what I do is just save it or just copy the question and just put it on my notes uh, so that I have all the questions in one place and then I answer those questions on my Instagram stories I make videos like this another way is obviously when you are on Instagram you see Instagram stories and I follow a lot of my peers and I see their stories I see that they sometimes do market research they ask polls so what i do is i answer the polls and i see how many people are uh, what the percentage is on the polls i take a screenshot and just save it and uh, next time when i come up with any content ideas or i know that there are a set group of people who need help with this i make sure that i build up more on that and then put out content that way and the next way is to use a research tool the most common the most available tool is google keyword planner with yeah the most accurate results as well i personally use ahrefs it's a seo tool and according to me it is way better than google keyword planner but i think ahrefs does not have any free tools in it i think i'm not sure because i pay for it but just start using a research tool put out keywords in there and get more ideas you would know how many people are searching for certain keywords so just yesterday i was doing this keyword research for a particular client and they are an e-commerce store and i had to come up with a bunch of blog post ideas for this particular client 
So what I did was open Google a keyword planner, opened Ahrefs and uh, started comparing stuff. And just with these two tools, I came up with a ton of content ideas that people are actually searching for. And the next way to come up with content ideas is to follow trends. This happens a lot on YouTube. When someone starts a tag or when someone starts a challenge, the whole community jumps on it. And I think it is an amazing way to just get in front of newer audiences and just get a lot of traction to your videos. There are many trends that happen on Instagram as well. So just be on a lookout when you spot such trends, especially with Instagram Reels. There are a lot of trends happening right now. So just hop on the bandwagon and uh, start creating content. Now it is over to you. Which of these did you find the most helpful? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other content ideas, put them below so that everyone gets benefit from it. Also, just make sure that you head out to rpsylvester.com forward slash gift. I shared the content ideas checklist there and I also put out the top tools and resources I use for my business. So just head out there and make sure you download it. I'll leave the link in the description below. And until next time, bye!